Good afternoon. Uh, first, obviously, I want to thank you, Governor, and your entire team for your leadership and support in getting our most vulnerable Floridians vaccinated, especially our Duval County citizens, to the vaccinations for COVID-19. Thank you to Walmart for stepping up, uh, not just in our county and our city, but all over the state of Florida, again, to make sure we're taking care of the most vulnerable. My team and I are focused on getting Jacksonville citizens access to the vaccine. The governor and his team have been amazing partners on that front. Just last week, we received an allotment of vaccines from the state, and on Friday and Saturday, we distributed the first dose to our most vulnerable neighbors in Northwest Jacksonville. I watched news coverage that morning of folks who were first in line to receive the vaccine at the Senior Center on Moncrief. Making sure they had access in their neighborhoods was crucial. In fact, the first two people interviewed told reporters they rely on public transportation and got on the first available bus that morning to get in line and get their vaccine. Thank you, Governor. That would not have happened without you. Today, as the governor stated, we're here at the Walmart of Atlantic and Kernan to announce the rollout of COVID-19 vaccinations in Walmart stores. My team and I have heard loud and clear from Beach's leaders. I just got off the phone with them and residents about the need for vaccine access in this area of the county. This program meets that need, providing easy access for those that need it. While this announcement is great news, we're all aware that more work needs to be done and we'll continue to work with the governor and his team to get vaccines to everyone who wants one. Until then, I encourage the people of Jacksonville to continue safe practices we've been doing since this pandemic started. Wear masks when you can't socially distance indoors, wash your hands, avoid large crowds, practice social distancing, take care of your neighbors. Personal responsibility is and remains our greatest tool in stopping the spread of this virus, and it lets people go back to work and our kids to be in schools and participate in activities. Uh, today is a, is a great day because we're announcing the expansion of vaccine availability in the state of Florida. And as you might uh, see, uh, see, that will be expanding to Walmarts all across the state of Florida beginning at the end of this week. We had been working with the, with the feds for about a month to uh, figure out when we'd be able to do uh, a larger pharmacy program through the federal pharmacy program. They are identifying uh, certain doses for each state, and then the state is identifying certain pharmacies to be able to, to receive them. And so when we finally got the word that the program was gonna be turned on, we obviously wanted to work with Walmart on this because we know how many Wal Walmart has a really significant footprint all across the state of Florida. So beginning on Friday, there'll be 119 Walmart stores across 34 counties that will begin offering COVID-19 vaccinations for senior citizens. Um, for all of you that know Walmart, you know that we are committed to serving the customers of our community. And we're also committed to providing affordable and accessible health care. So having an opportunity to be part of the strategy when it was COVID testing time, that was a huge commitment for our company. And we believe that it was an important one. And we are so excited to be part of the solution for vaccines. Um, we hope that our customers will learn about the opportunity to get their vaccines in our stores. And we appreciate opportunities like this with the governor and the mayor to get the word out so people know. We know it's difficult to get the vaccine, but we want people to know that there are resources right here in their community. So thank you all for being here. Thank you for being part of the solution to tell that story. And uh, we look forward to working with you.